So last week, in case you missed it, but if anyone owns a firearm legally and, and likes to shoot, um, this is something you've probably already heard already. The government backed off on some of its more contentious firearms issues, really going after those used by hunters and sports shooters and kind of riled up and woke up people that might not have been paying attention to this because Bill C-21 is still in effect. Uh, something else we have to work on. So a, a bit of good news, but still more work to be done. Absolutely. The good news is, is they pulled the amendments that made a lot of the legal firearms owners that they're going to make them into criminals, which we don't want. And the biggest thing about Bill C-21 is it's just window dressing. It's mm -hmm. not going to really address the issues that the Liberals are saying it will. It's not going to address violent crime that's been up 32%. It's not going to address gun uh, criminal activity by gangsters that's up 90% under this government. So they're really just trying to go after legal firearms owners and not fix the salient issue, which is those illegal guns coming across the border, which we all know that's where we're going to have to put our efforts, but we can leave our legal firearm owners alone. Well, it, it's just that it seems to be a false sense of security that the government seems to play with the emotions and the fears, legitimate fears that some people have, especially in areas, in municipalities, where some of these shootings are taking place, where some of these increased gang crimes are taking place. People are legitimately concerned. So this government comes along and says, hey, we're going to ban guns. We're going to get rid of these firearms. And and at the end of the day, you're no, you're no safer. You're no safer. And... It's even worse than that. On their Bill C-75, they're actually reducing penalties for people that are committing crimes with guns. So on one hand, they're saying they want to protect you more, but on the other hand, they're letting some of these people go to house arrest and go back into the neighborhoods in which they're terrorizing them. So Bill C-75, as, as Warren did point out, reduced the severity of some sentences for violent refeed offenders in, in most cases. So, yes, you can actually use a firearm and get house arrest in the proceed of a crime, which is absolutely incredible. So I think what we're seeing, too, in our communities, we want to talk about bail, re bail reform because uh, pretty much, I believe, every premier in this country, mm -hmm. territorial leader, has signed a letter to the prime minister saying the measures that the prime minister put in place are not working. We have repeat offenders going out and committing crimes. They should be behind bars for longer periods of time. And the government has weakened those to the point where these criminals just have a revolving door. They just go right back out. And we've seen the police officer that was fatally shot in Ontario just a few weeks ago in a very tragic situation. That individual was out on bail. So this is, this is a reoccurring thing that's happening over and over again. We can go on to the incidents in Toronto as well. Yeah, and when we see a, a violent offender uh, the lawyer in Quebec said, the po prosecutor said, if it wasn't for these new laws, that person would be behind bars. Mm -hmm. So you're hearing it just from everyday Canadians. And I think when you walk down the street and you ask, after eight years of Justin Trudeau being in power and the Liberals being in power, no one feels safer on their streets. I think that's something that really resonates with people, everyday Canadians, and the fact that they're seeing this government try and cherry pick a stat here and there and bring forward laws that aren't in essence, making their, their community safer. So that's what happened with Bill C-21 and the gun, uh, firearm amendments. That's what happened with Bill C-75 and reducing jail time and reducing mm -hmm. bails for repeat offenders. Lots of these offenders that we have seen taking our police officers' lives have been out on bail after numerous serious violent offenses with guns. And those are something that we need to tackle these issues so that we can make our Canadians. The first job of any government is to have their Canadians feel safe and the Liberals under Trudeau have failed over eight years in that priority.